<clears throat> 12. Yeah, good. Yeah, I, I have to say this is like the smallest uh, vessel that I've ever seen. Uh, th this case uh, is the smallest example of pan, poly polyarteritis nodosa, that I've seen, actually. Usually the vessels are a good bit bigger than this, but I guess this one's, it's in the right area. Like you said, it's just, it's one vessel. It doesn't have small vessel vasculitis up here, and it's kind of near the dermal sub-Q junction, which is where you usually see the vessel of polyarteritis nodosa. And from all the ones I've ever seen, and it's not, I've not seen tons of cases, but they always are like one vessel, really obvious LCV, and, and I don't, you don't see multiple vessels. I usually only see one cross section and one punch biopsy. I, I think it's possible that you could see more, but I feel like just because of the size of it and the way it's kind of usually a single vessel, kind of a, an area, like a cord like area, clinically, I feel like you probably on a punch, you're just going to get one cross section of it. So I, I did pull up one other example of this to show you from my, pictures here this is more like typical see the vessel is really prominently inflamed it's packed full of an organizing thrombus it's got destruction of the vessel wall and it's right down here right between the dermis subcutis right around that area and here's a closer look at it and you can see the fibrin and and uh, um, various inflammatory cells including neutrophils here and then the vessel wall has got neutrophils and it's beginning to get destroyed by the uh, inflammation so that's a pretty good example of polyarteritis nodosa.